Hi, today I want to show you differences between um, series and ranges. So um, if we go into the set tab, we have under sequence, we have a range component as well as a series component. Those two components are very useful in, in order to create uh, numbers and to better control those numbers. So if we, for example, in the standard one, um, the domain between the, in the range is between zero and one and the steps are 10. So it shows us 10 different numbers between the range of zero and one, zero and one. So there are 11 different numbers because there are 10 steps. The series component shows us a similar behavior, but it in this default mode, it is a, um, it starts at a zero, the steps are one, and the counts are 10. So if we, in our change, we change now and we take this number slider over here, I maybe wanna have a different starting number. So the number that is added to is still the same, but the starting number differs as we see. If we change the step number in this way, it would be like always a double of this one or we have um, normal like one step or less than that. Or if you have zero, the number stays the same because nothing gets added to this number. And for the counts, we would need to have a bigger number because um, we either just either one or zero in this case. So we need to increase this parameter. We can also make it uh, with integer numbers in order that we make equal numbers because we on the um, even numbers, uh, numbers who are with a comma afterwards, they don't really um, bring, bring us anything in this case. So yeah, so here we have a series of numbers which start at 0 0.186, going a step of one or less in 12 steps. So this is the output of the numbers that we receive. The range component um, works a little bit different. So here we have a domain of zero and one. So in technically, like if you if you like put in a, a number slider here, um, the way it translates to the domain is in the way that it basically creates a domain from zero till this number. So here like 12 or like 13 and it takes 10 steps. However, if you want to have a domain that doesn't start at zero, but maybe at two or three or even at, at minus numbers, we can use the um, the math under domain construct domain. We have um, the domain starting number and the domain ending number. So we put those in here, in there. So now we have a domain here between 10 and 15 and it creates steps there. And if you want to have more steps in between those things, we can again put a number slider here and we have generate more steps between um, the shown domain. As well, it, wor it works as well in negative numbers. So it goes from the negative to the positive. So yeah, like this. Um, yeah, so there are different use cases where you need um, different things of how they might be working. In the, for example, if we want to create a series of points, um, create points. No, where is it again? Um, construct isn't construct. Yeah. So we have an X, Y, and Z coordinate, and we wanna. Um, we don't really maybe care about um, how big the number is going to be. So we will take, um, we want to have a list of points who is going to be increasingly bigger in the uh, X coordinates or even with the Y coordinates. And we have like some kind of like diagonal thing here. And um, we could increase and decrease the steps between each of those points. So that's like all in good, but maybe I want to have it in different ways. So we can, um, if we remove this from here now, 
maybe you want to have a, a range between those two. So, whoops. So we want to have that the distance stays the same, but we want to have more points in between because we want to have a bigger, we have a range with more steps. Then we just increase number here. So yeah, um, I think it can be quite useful to to know those two things. And for example, if we um, take, you can also cross-reference those two. For example, if we take the count and the steps and we put it in the same slider. But in this case, because we want to basically like create a, um, a line grid between those two. Um, the problem with this might be that uh, I that that there are twelve steps, but this results in thirteen results because like zero till twelve. So we need to subtract one in uh, this case. So we need to subtract one from the number in order to have the same amount of uh, points and we have the coordinates here and that we have this maybe the same here um but here we take the same as well you see they're like a little bit on the same line so we put them up a little bit so we take just a uh, component a bit bigger and now we have a distance between those two and if I want to create a line between those two, we have this, for example, and now we can exchange those two. We have a different exchange rate, basically. So yeah, and hope this helps. I think it might help you to um, understand ranges and series further and um, good luck with your projects.